Hello, this is Oogabooga3 of Titanic Sloth, and this is episode like 50 million point eight of my Tony Go Let's Play. And in this Let's Play, I will be going to floor 20. Ooh. Yeah, so. Not very exciting, except for the fact that I get to kill giant things with horns! So. Ah, uh, not very much useful stuff in here. Hell. No. 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 <coughs> and that's how you get rid of herbs you don't want. For the less magical herbs. Iron. Only one thing to do with this. <coughs> Yeah, that's right. I just harpooned you. And the super herb. I'm gonna chew the super herb. Um. So as you can. S oh no! You can't see anymore. Nobody can see. Sings a myth. There we go. My health bar doesn't get bigger as. I get more health, more maximum health. It stops right there at the end of the G. Uh, which is kind of disappointing, actually. A heal ring info. Every turn uh, restores HP and speeds up hunger, though. A javelin. Don't want that. Monster rake. Uh, yeah, no. A joy ring. No. I already have one. A javelin. Um. Yeah, I already know what that is. Upper blank. I'll read this upper. Get this blank scroll. No! No! Why would you do this? Why would you have a mimic in your dungeon? Or not dungeon. In your, in your shop. What's wrong with you? Why would you do this to me? Yay, killing things. You one dropped a ring. Do I want anything? Mm. No, I actually don't want anything. What? What? Did you dig a tunnel all the way? What? 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 Yeah, I'm just gonna go down the stairs. <sighs> yeah. Frickin' Revy Rocks, die you scum. Now. <coughs> ah. <coughs> Sorry. Ahem. Ahem. Sorry about that. Um. I think I like inhaled my tongue for a bit there, so. <laughs> Uh Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I could sense it. That was actually pure luck. But <laughs> uh I couldn't really sense it was a monster. I just accidentally hit the X button and it happened to be a monster, so it all worked out well. But now I'm telling you the secret of my trick. So yet you can wow millions of people this way. Ooh, an item. No! Freaking mimics! Why? Why? Uh. Dang it! Why are you not- There we go. I'm just gonna sit here and... Get a bunch of monsters on me. And... Wait until I can one-hit at something every time. So... Just racking up the experience. Can I one-hit? Nope, I cannot one-hit Revy Rocks. It's not time to go to floor 23. Whee! Ah... 
Yeah, the last floors of this dungeon are very, very dangerous. Especially the 27th floor. All the 27th floor is, is a room full a full ave, full ave, full of monsters. Very hard monsters. And dragons who can strike you from anywhere as long as you're in the same room as them. And it does quite a bit of damage to you. Even though I have my 50% fire damage shield, it would still probably do like 10 damage. And if there's like 5 monsters in the room that are dragons, uh, I will die. And I have never used a haven scroll, so I can't use the, the blank scroll that I... Uh, that blank scroll that I um, bought from the shop, I can't use it uh, because in order to... I'm sure you know what the blank scroll is, but I'm going to explain it anyways. You can write a name of any single scroll you want on the blank scroll. I have never used a hate, but you have to have used the that type of scroll before. I've never used a haven scroll, so I can't write haven on the blank scroll and then just toss it under my feet. And as I've explained before, a haven scroll, all it is is you toss it on the floor under you, reading it does nothing, it just loses a scroll, um, but you toss it on the floor under you and nothing can hit you. You become invincible. Yay, I'm level 28. Uh, eat. Oh, it just did that skipping thing again. Come on. Come on, don't freeze again, man. Yeah. It froze last time. Oh, what's that wind? Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That wind will blow you off the dungeon if you stay there too long. Oh, cool, a blizzard. Yeah, I didn't want to go to this floor without being properly leveled. Another thing is, sorry if it skips every once in a while. For some reason, it's been, like, freezing off and on, and um, I can't save until I get out of the dungeon to, you know, exit the game and restart everything. Because if I try that, um... I'll lose my stuff. Oh, uh, really? What a scumbag. No, not a bomb crack. Ugh. 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 Bomb crags explode if you reduce their HP to 10 or under without killing them. And they will kill you very easily like that. They're another one of the dangers of the last floor. So, uh, it's a, um, oh, Shadower, Iron, Super Herb, nothing to, this is useless, so I'll just eat it. Because I don't get poisoned anymore with my shield, so. Die, you missed fire scum. Whee. Okie dokies. And down the floor I go. To floor number 24. Oh, a healer. Uh. Yay. They give quite a bit of experience for something so weak. But, ah, uh, another Mystifier. Yeah, Mystifiers are really dangerous because they stop you from moving, so it's like putting you to sleep, but it lasts longer. And, freaking bomb crag. Ah. Uh. Yay. So, they, those were the reason. Bomb crags, mostly. And dragons spewing hot fire. Yeah. These things are freaking dangerous. They are the number one cause of death in the magic dungeon for me. Because they can spew fire at you from anywhere in the room. So. And it does quite a bit of damage, even with a half damage to fire shield. So it did 15 damage to me. Normally it would have done 30. So. As you can see, 
30, uh, 30, 60, 90, 180. So, uh, it would just, if six of them were in the room, it would kill me. Uh, like, in one turn, so. They are quite, quite, quite dangerous. Luckily, I have a 50% fire damage shield, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, I am on... I would like to be level 35, perhaps even 40, before uh, a freaking Wing Sage. Yeah, your HP doesn't regenerate after they catch that spell on you. So, those are another reason that the world is dangerous. Luckily, I have, um... Um, 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 um... Heal pots. And so... I can heal. Crap, crap, don't level up the- Ah! Actually, yes. Yay! Dragon advanced level 2. I'll get double experience whenever I kill this bitch. Yay! 2,500 XP. That was nice. Ah, that's one of the joys of leveling up monsters, by having them get in the way of other monsters attacking so that they get hit as well. Yay. Joy. And a healer. Ah. Sometimes healers heal you as well. Oh crap, eyeballs. I forgot about eyeballs. No! No! Oh, uh, there we go. Eyeballs will cast confusion on you if they're in the same room as you. So. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Dangerous, dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Um, not so dangerous because I have a... Um... Um... What's it called? I forgot what monster I was talking about. Oh no, the freezing is starting again. The hiccuping. No. Why are you gonna hiccups? Ah. Okay, there we go. The hiccuping stopped. Well, this is weird. I've never had this problem before with the PlayStation 1 game. I, I've had it when emulating PS2 games, but never PlayStation 1 games. Eh. How peculiar. No! 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 I can't attack any direction I want anymore. Ah. Luckily, I have this three-way sword, so I can easily slaughter you. Yay. Iron. Oh, nice. Monsters were summoned. This is a great way to level up, especially if you're confident about your strength abilities. Yeah, that's right, someone. And just restore your health. Kill any other monsters in the room. And walk back on the thingy. Wee. Ha ha ha, kill all the things. So yeah, this is my number one way of leveling up in this dungeon. Um, agility, iron, sleep, sleep. Oh crap, I didn't intend to do that. That was an accident. Uh, killed the dragon. Uh, kill armor. Uh, I'll hit this someone eventually. Hopefully. Yay. An uppers. I will read this. Hey, healer. Ah. And the joy of healers. And you can always tell if someone uh, 
and by someone I mean invisible monsters, um, uh, spawned with the uh, rest of the monsters when you step on this, because there's never a gap in between the monsters. Like on this one, there's usually four monsters, so there's either one here or one here. So, Mystifier, Wing Sage, and some. There's two someones, so they're right here. And. Yay! Deduction skills for the win. Another eyeball scumbag. Level 34. Monsters were summoned. Yay! Aw. Oh. I need to kill this Wing Sage, they're the most dangerous out of them all. And these guys confuse me, so I'll just beat them. Fling fling my sword around wildly. And a bomb crag. And an eyeball. And a healer. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Monsters were summoned. Dragon, yay. The joy of dragons is they give you a bunch of experience. So, killing this guy. Monster nearby. Yay. And monsters were summoned. There's a someone there. Yay. And kill these two. Die, you scum. And I kill him. I'm level. 35, which is pretty nice. Um, actually, no, I think I'm gonna go down to the next floor. And there's, since there's only 27 floors in this dungeon, 27th floor is the last floor. Oh! Dear Jesus! Ah! It's just not intended! Ah. This is a monster house. Um, Yep, eyeballs. Ah, dear. Two dragons, really. No. Read a bang scroll and kill everything in here. Or do a decent amount of damage to everything in here. It never kills everything. Ah, da, 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 da. Yeah, monster houses suck. No longer confused. Excellent. Kill two dragons. Confused again. No. 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 Yeah. This is why I hate eyeballs. Uh, 
Oh my god, I may never get out of this floor. This is like horrible. I know exactly what to do. Check. Read. Curses. I don't know how long the pause lasts. Not long enough. I was about to say, I don't know how long this lasts, so I better get out of here quick. Pot. This is only slightly unfair. There we go, there we go. Ah, da, 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 da. Uh, blank. Right. Oop. P. A. U. S. E. And start. Read. Crap. No! I gotta see if how far right I can go before I get slaughtered. Ah, uh, come on. Uh. No! Carnico is frozen. For me, you monsters. Frozen again. Come on. Come on. No. Wrong direction. Go right. Go right. No. 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 Yeah. Um, well, this is fun. There's my heal pot. Use. Got rid of that guy above me. I'm the only- Ah! Yes, I'm no longer confused. Get rid of this guy. Ah, thank god! Okay. Ooh, no, no. I actually am plugging my microphone. Or my headphones, my bad. My microphone's still good. Okay, there we go. Ah, well. I am Ooga Booga 3 of Titanic Sloth. This is my Tornico The Last Hope Let's Play. You are watching it. Now you should comment, rate, subscribe, and do various other things relating to those. In the next episode, I will beat the game. So. Actually, no. I'm going to beat the game in this episode. I'm just going to make it a long episode. So, ignore that. <laughs> this is the last floor. Uh, can you sense them vile monsters are on this floor? This is the final boss battle of the game. Check. 
Nope. Um. Check. Oh. Oh. Nope. Nope. Uh. Check. Bing. Read. Kill everything. Um. So that thing I just killed directly above me, that's a dark evil chest. And whenever you kill it, monsters come out of it. So. Now that I heard that bomb cry, it reduced its health. Oh. Nope, it's gonna explode. Or, that's just a Revy Rock, okay. And I'm surrounded by monsters. You might think, oh my god, that's so horrible. No, actually not really, because monsters don't respawn on this floor. So. Uh, whatever you kill stays dead and nothing else comes of it. So the only goal in this is to stay alive. Which, as you can see, is quite difficult. Okay. Gotta kill this dragon first. Uh, kill that guy, kill that guy, and kill that guy. Hmm. Hopefully I don't die right here. There we go. No. Please heal. Yeah, figured he would do that. And, and, and... Crap. Ugh. Gotta kill this eyeball and this ice guy first. They're the most dangerous here. Ah, no. Curses. No! What have I done? Crap. Yeah, this dungeon is really hard. Luckily, I have a world leaf on me, so... Even if I die... It shouldn't be that bad, because... I can just revive myself, so... Yay, I killed it. I killed that, and I killed that, the most three dangerous monsters left. Okay, oops. There we are, I killed that someone. That Revy Rock. Do I have any more healing stuff? Uh <laughs> Nope. Well. Ah, oh, there's one more dark evil chest. Well, lucky lucky for me. Crap. I... Uh, this lagged a bit, so... I intended to move diagonal... Oh, I forgot there was someone's there. Dang it, it attacked me. There's a, someone there. <laughs> no, there's a someone here. There we go. Who? A dragon. And... Two blizzards. And what's this scroll here? Here all. Killed that guy. And... Oh, really? Please don't confuse me. 
kill that. Oops, my bad. Kill. Really? God dang it. I actually might die in here. This is why one can never be too prepared. Uh. There we go. Ah, that was wonderful. Bag of gold. There's a door up here. Yay! I beat the game. Isn't that snazzy? The melody of the joy chest sounded from the banished chest. The lingering atmosphere of evil faded away. From beyond the melody, Nina's prior is heard. May the gods please return him to moi, Shifle. From beyond the melody, Paolo's voice is heard. Papua, please come back for the unicorn for me. Yay. See? See how I flew away? That's what the tubbiness was for. Yeah! Yeah! So I've beaten the game. Isn't that pretty snazzy? But now is where the real fun begins. You will see soon enough. You will see the amazingness, the amazing power of Tornico the Last Hope. Tornico failed? Even for Tornico, it may have been too heavy a burden this time. But that's not right. Tornico follows thought for, for all of us. Why? Why? Parque? Groan. I should have. I should have gone with him. Okay, that's cool. I feel that I was derelict in my duties to protect his beloved people and lead them to happiness. That is the mission of a true king. I'm not dead. Stop talking about me like I am. I shall take it upon myself to return peace to my kingdom. Sire, allow me to join you. But, but wait, your majesty, what would, you, what would become of the kingdom if something were to happen to you? Uh huh huh. If that happens, you be the king. Really? Or rally the troops? It hits Tornico. What? Yeah, everybody thought I was dead. I was just flying. Yeah. It was too much fun. Wahahaha, <laughs> you did it, you did it, I knew you'd do it, Tornico. Uh, Tornico, dot dot dot. M magnificent, you're a true hero. Pent, pent! Uh, so how was it? What kinds of monsters were there? And what was the dungeon like? And, 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 and. Come on, let me skip it. Sire! Hmm. <laughs> There are many people waiting for Tinerko's return. Ah, yes, that's true. I'm sorry, excuse my rudeness. <laughs> Torneko, you should be able to. Uh, you should be on your way. However, I want you to tell me all about your adventure later. Agreed. Come on. There you go. Oh, hello, Shvitis. Would you like a box of candy in my van? Is there a man named Tornico in this village? Mm. Yep, but Papa is away right now. Uh. Oh, is that right? So, sweetie, your Tornico's. I'm not sweetie, I am Paolo! And I am Lola. Ah ha ha ha, I'm sorry, but your father's out. See, that is a shame. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on. Paolo and Lulu, may I ask you to do something for me? Please pass along my thanks to Tornico. Uh, thanks for the joy chest. Happiness. Thanks to the joy chest. Happiness has returned to our poor village. I wanted to thank him for that. Mm, okay, sure. When Papa's home, I'll be sure to tell him. Lala 2. Thank you. I'll leave it in your trust. Yay. Okay, bye. Sorry about the micro-stuttering. 
Uh, take care, live a long life. Uh, thank you, you'll be good too. Yeah, this- I don't know what's the deal with the lag on here. <laughs> the atmosphere of evil, it's gone. Yay, the tubby merchant returns. There's no need for words, Ton Nico. You have done well. Neither a soldier nor a warrior, you. With that blubbery belly. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Why are you dwaddling? Do you mean to keep your family waiting forever? That Ton Nico, it would be a shame if he remained a merchant. But he could attain as a royal mage. Uh, hey, what is happiness? Ain't nobody know. Huh, why are you asking that all of a sudden? For some reason, I feel tremendously happy. I wonder why. Mm. Come to think of it, me too. Mm. No, don't freeze. It's strange. Um. Yes. I rub you. Yeah, that was not weird at all. D -d -d Welcome home. Uh, I am sorry. Question mark. The first dialogue sent said in the game. Papa, welcome home. Ah, Mama, why are you crying? Because he didn't die. Yeah. Oh yeah, Papa, I met this old lady earlier. What? An old lady this time? Uh, da, 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 da. No! Exclamation point! What's wrong? No, it's nothing to worry about. It'll be alright, no matter what happens. Question mark. Isn't that right, DR? We will keep working and living together happily in the Yeah. Paulo too. Yep, 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 yep. And as such, love prevails. Well, thank you for watching. I am Oogabooga Three of Titanic Sloth. This has been my Tornico the Less Less Hope Last Play. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And check back tomorrow, because the fun is not over yet. Not for a long time. As always, thank you for watching.